have the telephone and the labs for the sewer project um, that will be passed due tomorrow. Then we start hitting bills in the next in the next another seven or eight that are going to be passed due by the 30th. These are all sitting in my office. Some of them have been printed since 7-16-2012, but since we do not have signers, those bills are not paid. Your code requires resolutions to be voted on like you've done, and then the final resolution form gets signed by the mayor. And I advise Calvin to advise the mayor that that's the procedure, and my understanding is that he refuses to sign the resolution. So without a signed resolution, you can't go to the bank and say, here's the resolution, change the signature cards, so you all can't sign the check. Resolution 2006 or 7 says you got two signers, so I don't know what the problem is. Um, the problem is you didn't sign the resolution, sir. Well, I wasn't a part of it, and I don't usually sign things that I'm not a part of. Calvin, you, and Mr. Naughton are the ones that have the authority to sign them. So I don't understand what the problem is. Your charter and your town does not allow the mayor to have a veto power. There is no veto. And by not signing the resolutions, it's kind of a de facto veto. And this situation is untenable. I mean, business has to go on. So either the resolutions get signed or the council's forced to take some action to change the way this is, business is done. I said I would sign it, although I don't agree. What? So you're saying to yeah. sign the resolution now? Right. Give it to me. I'll sign it. We prefer, like the rest of these people, for it to be signed now. That we knew that we would get some checks. 